caracoles y bienvenidos a Spring Spanish. Yo soy Cori, I am Cori, and I am one of the teachers here at Spring Spanish. ¿Habla español? Do you speak Spanish? Would you like to learn some more Spanish? ¡Excelente! Great news! Today, I'll teach you some phrases útiles, useful phrases, that will help you feel more confident now that you're learning Spanish. I assume you are a beginner learning Spanish, so you might not understand the whole structure of the phrases yet. That's totally fine. You don't have to understand all the grammar rules behind them yet. I am teaching them you as whole chunks. That's what we call these phrases or words combinations. So you can be sure they're correct and you sound natural when speaking Spanish. We teach Spanish with these chunks throughout the whole Spring Spanish channel and also our courses in the Spring Spanish Academy for beginners and also for advanced. So, comencemos! selected some basic sentences you can use and we'll go una por una, one by one. Yo soy or yo soy de. As you probably know, this means I am or I am from. No hablo en español. Now, let's be honest and tell me how many times have you said this sentence. This of course means I don't speak Spanish. But let's imagine that you're in a gathering and somebody comes to you and they start talking to you about last night's telenovela, soap opera. Then you can say, no hablo español. Perdón, no entiendo. I'm sorry, I don't understand. ¿Podría hablar más despacio, por favor? Could you speak slower, please? This is a very useful phrase. We Spanish speakers are very skilled in saying as many words as possible per minute. Y debo confesar, I must confess, even I have some issues understanding sometimes if people talk to me really fast. Don't be afraid to ask, ¿Podría hablar más despacio, por favor? If you are using the formal you, or ¿Podrías hablar más despacio, por favor? in an informal way. ¿Podría repetir eso, por favor? Could you repeat that, please? Given the fact that there are so many different accents in the Spanish language, you might hear something that maybe you don't understand the first time or you are doubtful about it. Don't hesitate to ask. ¿Podría repetir eso, por favor? Remember, por favor, and a good smile opens doors. Hablo inglés, do you speak English? But don't be lazy and do your best to continue in Spanish. La práctica hace al maestro. Practice is key. Estoy aprendiendo español. I am learning Spanish. And I bet you are excited about it. So go and tell everyone about it and you can also talk about our channel as well. ¿Puedo utilizar un traductor? Can I use a translator? Now, the following are what I call Spanish phrases for the rookie survival. And the first is pica or esto pica? Is this spicy? Here in Mexico, there is an illness called el mal de Moctezuma, Moctezuma's illness. And a lot of foreign people catches this after eating a large amount of spicy food uh, and they end up suffering at el baño, the toilet. So to avoid this, you first better ask pica or esto pica? Now, if the answer is yes, well, it's really up to you. Tengo sed or me da un vaso con agua, por favor? I'm thirsty or can I have a glass of water, please? Now, the survival tip here is if you didn't ask if your food was spicy or not, 
and you feel very very hot as in spicy hot then you don't want to drink water believe me it's better off if you ask for some salt salt donde esta el baño where is the toilet you might have to use this if you forgot to ask if your food was spicy or not donde esta el hospital necesito un doctor where is the hospital i need a doctor now i'm not trying to scare you but maybe going to el baño the toilet hasn't been of a lot of help after all those tacos and you actually need to go to the hospital well now you know how to ask for it cuánto cuesta o cuánto es how much it is in english the translation for both sentences is the same but in spanish it is common to ask cuánto cuesta uh, for a service or an item before you buy it and cuánto es after buying them so you can pay or you don't care and you have a lot of money and gastas y gastas no. Those are some of the basic phrases you can learn. And of course, you are welcome to our channel where we have more videos with other sentences that are going to help you to improve your Spanish. For example, ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? ¿Qué día es hoy? What day is it today? ¿Cómo te llamas? What's your name? Y muchos, muchos más. And many more. Muy bien. Now, you know some easy phrases that will help you to become confident when you use your Spanish. And don't worry. We love it when a person makes the effort to speak our own language. Don't you worry on being perfect. Don't you worry that people is going to make fun of you. I promise I won't. So, don't be afraid and start using your Spanish. Now, if you are ready to take it a step further, go beyond these basic phrases and get serious about learning Spanish. We have a free Spanish training on our website where you discover the method we use at our Spring Spanish Academy to have you speak in Spanish super rapido super fast you also get some free samples there that come straight from our academy if you're interested just click in the description to sign up and i think that's it thank you very much i hope you had fun i definitely did hasta la vista y gracias totales don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share the video with your friends. 